Hello the internet and welcome to another fast school holiday video workshop with CNRL Library Innovation Studio and Children's Services. Today we're going to show you how to make pendulum art where you use the Earth's gravity as your paintbrush to make fantastic geometric pictures using just a few household objects and your canvas can be small or large. For this workshop you will need some poster paint, a cup of warm water, some paper to paint onto, you'll need some string, you'll need a paper cup, you need a cardboard tube like a kitchen roll tube or a baking paper tube or alfoil tube. You'll need a pair of scissors, a spoon that you don't mind getting covered in paint, and you need a couple of boxes, nice and tall. And because we're going to make quite a lot of mess, you might want to put some newspaper down or I've got a tarp. First of all, get your box and your tube. And what you want to do is stand your tube up against your box. And then that is where you need to put your hole. It needs to be at least as high as your tube is long. So what I'm going to do is I'll put this down, stand this up and cut my hole here. The hole doesn't have to be especially exact, just so that your tube sits in it quite comfortably. Don't want it rolling around too much. That's a pretty rough looking hole, but that's fine. In it goes. Perfect. Now we need to do the same with the other box, exactly the same. Lie it down so it's gone to the end of the box, stand it up and that's where you cut your hole. Now get your two boxes and just Poke the tube in both. There we go, we now have two towers with our tube in between, and this is where our pendulum's gonna hang, and our canvas is going to go in between the two towers. Now, to make our pendulum cup. What you wanna do is put a hole here, and a hole on the other side, to put some string through. One. Two. Now get your string and feed it through the hole, and then out the other hole. And what you're gonna do, is make sure you've got enough string so the two can meet and cut it there. And just tie this together. Very basic knot. The string doesn't want to be tied against the cup. You want it to be able to hang just like that. Okay. And what I like to do to tie it up is just to pull the knot so it's on the inside like that. So we've got a nice bit of string there. Perfect. We also need to put a hole in the bottom of the cup. Don't make it too big. This is where your paint's going to come out. I'm gonna do one hole in the bottom, nice and round, there we go. Now we're gonna do the same sort of thing on our tube. So, get some string, wrap it over twice, and then making sure there's a bit of slack there, cut the string, and tie it. Again, nice and loose, so you've got some slack there. There we go. So we've got a loose knot there and we've got a loose knot there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie a piece of string from here to here. Now, the reason we do this is when we have our pendulum swinging, it wants to have freedom of movement in every direction. If we have the knots too tight or we use one piece of string, it's gonna be biased one way or another. This gives it a full freedom of movement. It's not being affected by the cup, it's not being affected by the tube because it has freedom of movement at both points and in between. Now it's time to put the tarp down because we're almost ready to paint. So you can use a tarpaulin or you can use newspaper or if you don't mind making a big mess then I guess it doesn't matter. Now get a length of string and tie one end to the top up here and tie your other end down the bottom. Now this wants to hang so it doesn't want to be too low down. There we go. Make sure you've got plenty of freedom of movement here. Okay, our pendulum is now ready to swing. What we're going to do is we're going to fill this with a mixture of three parts paint to one part water. And we're going to have our paper on the bottom and we're going to let it spray paint all over in a beautiful pendulum swing. Lovely dark green in here. And look at those shapes it's making. Now why does this work? A pendulum is a bit like a swing at the playground, but instead of going backwards and forwards, our pendulum can swing side to side and round and round as well. If you happen to get it exactly square with a string, you might get a straight line back and forth until it eventually stops. Otherwise, it's going to swing around and around, and as friction slows down your pendulum, it's going to draw closer and closer to that bottommost point, giving you lots of circles and arcs. And that's why I say you're using the Earth's gravity as your paintbrush. You can pick it from any angle, you can swing it with a bit of sideways motion instead of just straight down towards the middle, and that way you can control the arcs and the spirals that you get. You just need to experiment, just like the first time you ever painted with a paintbrush. 
I'm pretty happy with my cup paint pendulum, made some lovely pictures with it, but the great thing about this is you can scale it up. You don't just have to use a cup and a tube and some boxes, you could use some chairs and a broomstick and a bigger piece of paper. Or if you've got a lot of room in your backyard and a bit of junk to pile things high up on, you can use baking paper for your paper. And well, check this out, we've got a ladder and a sauce bottle pendulum. First of all, get your broom handle or your long piece of wood and lay that down on the ground. Then get something to lift it up in the air. You need two things that are of equal height. For the pendulum, I've cleaned a sauce bottle, cut the bottom off, and then just stuck holes in the side with string as usual. Then get your large piece of paper. I've got baking paper that I'm gonna roll out onto the ground. And you do need lots of stones and things to weigh these down, because even the slightest breath of wind and it will start to lift. Right, let's see how it goes. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's get painting. Let's get some black next. <laughs> Might do another black one in a different direction. Oh, ran out just the perfect time too. Okay, let's get some paint in this. I'm gonna do yellow this time. And a bit of water to thin it up a bit. And give it a stir. Whoops. <laughs> it's messy stuff, but that's okay. And then you just undo the sauce bottle like that, and it starts to come out, let it go. I'm probably using two thirds paint to one third water, and my water is slightly warm. <laughs> it's a messy business, even though I'm doing this outside and I'm even nowhere near the paint, because it all sprays around while you're doing it. Let's get a closer look. And you can use your plank of wood. <laughs> it's a slightly precarious workbench. Hopefully none of that paint is gonna fall down. Not bad. We hope you enjoyed this pendulum art workshop, whether your canvas is large or small. We'd love to see your artworks. Just post them on the Innovation Stew Facebook page or your local CNRL Library branch Facebook page. Now, keep watching to find out what you'll need for the next fast video workshop. Today, we're going to make four ingredient bread, which is called Irish soda bread. And in order to make this, you are going to need a lined uh, cake tin, or baking tray, uh, four cups of sifted flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda or bicarb soda, one teaspoon of salt, and two cups of buttermilk.